Greetings and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. We're going to have a quick look at the officers for the Russian army because I spent quite a bit of time on them and I had a lot of fun putting them together. So I thought I'd just do a little video on these. Um, they're not actually a unit, they're just part of the command of each individual sort of regiment. Um, they're also, I've tried to characterise each one to make them really obvious to spot. Uh, so we have a guy here with his um, with a, a bear cloak and a nice little helmet and mace. I thought he looked quite cool. So he's kind of like heavy infantry kind of. Yeah. So he, he's a sort of a heavy infantryman and he leads the some of the heavy infantry. So he's quite a good little chap. Then we have this guy here, he's got a little Russian moustache, um, the head's out of the um, Dark Age Warrior box, or it might be the Celtic box, one of the two. And I quite enjoy taking the helmets and making them look like they're carried helmets. Um, I did a bit of experimenting with that, so he's carrying his helmet there with the mail hanging down behind. I think that was quite good. Uh, the next guy is just Mr Beardy, he has a nice big beard. And he again is carrying his helmet with the shield over the top. And then we have this imperious sort of chap pointing into the distance, ordering his troops forward. And that's a nice one. Uh, the cloak is a cavalry cloak um, from the knight's box, the mountain knights. Uh, so the cloaks look like they're moving in the correct direction for the infantryman. Then we have the last one, who is the officer for the pike. And he's carrying a pike himself, because he's actually taking part in combat. So, that's quite an interesting one. So what do you think? The pickle? Yeah. It's, as I said, it's not an actual unit, um, but they're just the officers, the sort of characters I made for the army. Uh, each one has his own standard, and all the standards are characters as well. You see like that chap there. And you've got this chap with the sword over his shoulder. Uh, so they all, all have their own flag, they all have their own command unit. Uh, I thought that was a, an interesting thing to do with this army. Uh, the problem is with the knights, the knights don't really have much in the way of command. Sort of individual officers leading units, because you can't tell the difference between them because they're all knights. Yeah. Uh, and knights are pretty individualistic as well. So, any questions on them? Did you base them off anyone? Um, yeah, uh, that's um, oh, Nagyev the Bald, who is um, Alexander Nevsky's Bald. Yeah, he's Bald then. I, I meant Bald as in Bald Man, yeah, but he was Bald. Uh, so, yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's a descriptive name. Um, that's Alexander Nevsky's grandfather, uh, father in law, who Nevsky fought alongside. Um, so he was he was married to um, his daughter, and he was a a prince himself or a king himself, a yal, whatever you want to call it. Um, this guy here is based off a character in the Alexander Nevsky film. <coughs> I thought it was quite cool, um, although I, I believe the character is fictional. Uh, so I did him like that with the bear cloak and everything, just because it looks cool. I thought that was an interesting thing to do. Um, that chap there is uh, just a normal Russian guy who I didn't actually base on anyone. Um, I needed an extra command. I'd already done the two with the helmets in the hands, so I used a different type of helmet and I did him and he's sort of waving the troops forwards, just there. Um, that one there is the Yao of Novograd, the... the, the um, he led the militia in, in, in Novograd, which uh, Alexander Nevsky became ruler of. Uh, that's what based him off, because there's a, there's, there's a caricature of him doing exactly that pose, so I copied it. Um, and this chap, I, that, actually that's like Byzantine. He's a sort of Byzantine commander. Um, well, they, they are like all from all over the world, really, aren't they? Yeah, and given that the Rus um, did send a lot of troops to fight for the Byzantine Empire, um, the very guard, Ringian guard, um, were many of them were Russian, um, 
and so you would have had troops who fought in the the officers who fought in the Byzantine Empire would also fought, fight in Russia. So it's quite an interesting thing. So I I did him off of the um, idea of a, a Byzantine. So that, that's what gave me that idea. Any more questions? Um, were they all specialised in something? Like a madman or...? Uh, well, he's obviously a pikeman because he's leading the pike, uh, the Byzantine heavy infantry. Um, all the rest are basically just normal soldiers. This guy, of course, has a mace, which is the best close combat weapon ever created in history. Yeah, and the priests used it. Well, actually, anyone who had sense used a mace, I think, in my opinion. Not even far. Yeah, maces were... In men's priests to use in combat. Oh, they're used by priests. Um, the first mace, the, the first proper military main maces were used by the um, the Parthians against the Romans. Uh, Parthian cavalry would carry a mace because they couldn't, the, the spears wouldn't go through the Roman armour. So they had to, they, they resorted to using maces um, because the mace could damage the Roman armour. Which is why the Romans had an armoured helm to stop maces crashing their helmet. So the same goes for Crusaders. Uh, yeah, and identical. Um, d d two different, two different evolutions of armour for the same reason. Yeah, when you wake the helmet on, there's like a, like a gap from your head, so you don't crush your head. When yes, you it's, a, it's a, a soft bit which the which maces can actually go into, so it doesn't damage you. Yeah, quite clever stuff. Uh, so that's it. That's just showing you some of the officers. Uh, right, we'll get on to the proper videos later. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, Arthur. So if you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of the characterised figures. That's everything from me. And everything from him. Goodbye. See ya.